drone is returning home right now. Woo! It's working, it worked! Yeah, that was fast, so it was good that you dropped it a little closer in. <laughs> All right, it's at cruising altitude, 381 feet. They, wait, no, that's a bird. No, is that? That's my drone. Where? No, is that a bird or my drone? Where? It's where a at? bird. It's a plane. Where? That. Is that a drone it's... or my bird? What is that? That's my drone. What's going on, guys? Today we're going to be talking about if it's worth it to get yourself a fishing drone. So we're gonna be using this to try and catch a fish. I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm gonna tell you about the different features about it and generally talk about is this a good thing to invest in for fishing. So let's get into it. So I purchased my first drone, a Phantom DJI. Uh, it's a Phantom 3. Um, this is an advanced one where uh, it can go about three miles out. And I got this with the purpose of, of uh, dropping baits far out there. Now, let me start by saying that you don't have to get the DJI. This is the, just the name brand one. There's a, actually another brand that has one that's, that's completely waterproof. So if it falls in the water, you, can, you are actually able to flip it over. Um, I got this one because I want to take some, some cool pictures and, and cool videos. This is what will hold the bait later. You'll see. Battery. Okay. Now let's set these up. Propeller guards. What are these? Propeller guards. And what do they do? They guard the propeller. Yeah. Here's the mechanism that we're going to use to uh, drop our bait. I'm going to attach this to the bottom. I've got it probably a 10, 11 foot nylon rope right here, attached to a down rigging clip right here. Now my rig is gonna go on this down rigging clip. So it's gonna stick in there. The bale will be open, I will fly it out. When I'm ready to drop the bait, I will close the bale and it will slip out of this down rigging clip. You get it? So I'm gonna put this in here. See that? And now here's the down rigging clip. Right here in my hand. All right, so I'm gonna need a couple of people to help with this operation. Aaron, you're gonna be filming me. Louie, you will be helping me with closing the bale when we wanna drop the bait. And I will be flying it. Right? We all go with that? Yep. Okay, so let's get, I'm gonna get the drone set up. Let's bait up that rod right here. Come on, let's, tell, let's show them the rod first. So now the awesome part about drone fishing is you don't need to be able to cast very far to be able to get your line out really far. So basically I'll clip it on right here and I'll take it out a mile if I have enough. I'll take it out however much line I have or however far I want it to go. I can keep it on a short rod. Um, I think this is gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna work really well. So we've got the high-low rig here. Uh, we've got some beads on it to attract some fish. Uh, we're not going for anything huge. There's probably some whiting kingfish out there. Uh, maybe some little blue fish, stuff like that. We're gonna try and test this drone. That's the main reason we're here today, is to see if this works well, see if it's worth it. Um, I'm also, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> because I don't want my toy to be, to be in the bottom of the ocean by the end of the day. You know, one wrong cast and, and I could lose my drone. It's kind of windy today. And it's a little windy. So try a couple of strips of that. A seafood mix for them. And this will be good for keeping the bait on. Clam is so soft, if it gets lost at least, you know, if I get a hit, at least I'll have this on it. Nice little snack size bites. There. All right, can you hold the rod, Louie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So when I fly this up, this is going to be hovering right here. We're going to clip that on to like right here. You're going to open the bale where it's going to fly it out. 
and when we decide that it's, it's far enough we're gonna we're gonna close the bale and then hopefully it'll just slip right out of that that downrigger right keep climbing okay. and forward okay I'm nervous are you nervous I'm a little nervous Open the bale. Open the bale. How much line is left? None. Okay, close it. Where is it? Did you, drop? Did you close the bale? Yeah, look. Keep flying forward. Are you on bottom? I think you're good. Go oh. home. Alright, now I'm returning home. So it should automatically fly home. So now the good thing about these these DJI's are they have good right good thing about these DJI's is that it has a it's pretty smart functions in there uh, it can return home if you lose connection it'll fly back to you you can set it to um, pretty much if if you lose connection it can either hover there or it can fly back to you it's a lot of smart functions you can uh, preset to save your drone from from destruction Coming down, coming down. That was a smooth flight. Nice and safe, just the way I like it. Oh, don't land on the, okay. I was looking down, it's complete flat. It's like, I thought it would be really deep, but, um, so I took it, I took it further than the flats and dropped it there. But I pretty much ran out of line, take a look. I ran out of line with this thing. Let's see if the distance makes a difference. This one we're gonna put some salted clam on. We did some salted surf clam. We're gonna put some strips on like this. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks so good. And these are not available yet. But we do have the squid. Right, this is just an experiment. This is still in testing mode. Let's see how fish like it first. Let's see how it does today. And when they're dried out like this, as soon as they hit the water, they, they turn back soft. And this is like a perfect setup right here for like a pompano bite. Mm. All right, so we're gonna fly all these lines out. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And I, my battery will last probably 15 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes or something like that. Taking off. It's gonna go up four feet. I'm probably gonna take it six, seven feet. Are you ready? <laughs> a mile. A, a mile, you think? You can go three miles. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the, sure. the drone oh, can, it's just however much line you have in your reel.
Yeah, you took everything out. We ran all the line out. Oh no. You went too fast. Okay, we gotta go find that line. Alright, alright, cool, let's tie it up. Okay. I think so. You got it? Oh, I think he might. There you go, alright. Ha <laughs> ha! We got it back! We Wait. got it back! <laughs> oh no, it's in my hand, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been horrible to I leave know. that in the water. I was about I to was swim about out to and be, get it. I was about to be upset. It's, it's done, it's done. Close it. Close it. Wait, 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 hold it. Ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna unclip it now. Alright, dropped. That's not even that far! It's dropped though, right? Yeah, that's not even right, that come far. here, look at this structure. Look. See what, what the hell is that? What do you see? What are those? Are those fish? I don't know. Let's let's take it down a little bit. That's pretty cool to see, huh? Oh, you know what? Let's go look for some fish. All up along the um the thing. Yeah, we definitely could do that. Where? If there's fish. Up and down the coast. Yeah, up and down the coast. If there's fish, we can go. Okay, go okay. to the fish. You see anything? I don't see nothing. See that? Reel it in, man. No, it's not by yet. It, it was like this. But where's your, uh, oh, oh my god! Take it back, take it back, man. Oh my god! Yeah. And my drone is returning home right now. Woo! It's working, it worked! Yeah, that was fast, so it was good that you dropped it a little closer in. <laughs> Alright, it's at cruising altitude 381 feet. That, wait, no, that's a bird. No, is that, that's my drone. Where? No, is that a bird or is my drone? Where, where it's at? a bird, it's a plane. Where? That, is that a drone it's or my bird? What is that? That's my drone. Underdog. Okay. What'd you get? I got a fish. A fish. Oh, my arm's oh, tired. My arm's tired. There we get him. What is that? I don't know. What is it? It's a blowfish. It's a blowfish. Little baby, love my clam, love my super salty bait. I'm in love with the squid. Hit the squid. Nothing much. Nice. All right. It can't just be one. It's got to be many. Hopefully. How far out was that? I don't know. 100, 100 yards. 
These are not toys, because you, you gotta keep in mind you are flying and sharing airspace with other airplanes, hand gliders, parachuters, anyone who's in the air, you're sharing airspace with them, and this could really hurt somebody. Imagine if this was got stuck into like a, a plane's, you know, uh, jet engine. You would kill everyone. So you really need to read your rules. It's not just a toy. You have to look into it, read about it, learn how to use it, not just get it, go out and use it, okay? So take advice from me, unless you want to get yourself in trouble or get other people hurt. That drone is awesome. The yeah. drone fishing is awesome, right? Yeah, no, it works really well. I really like using it. Yeah. I need to get more batteries for it, that's the thing. Oh, true. Because one battery lasts 15 minutes, so I have like, what, five flights? True. Okay. Uh, the drone worked out great. Uh, I was a little bit nervous to, uh, to actually use it for fishing, but there's a lot of safety features on here that prevented it from actually, uh, from actually wrecking. Uh, the return home function was really great. Um, in terms of for fishing, it's, it gives a, a really good advantage because you can cast it really far out there. Spots where you can't normally hit. Um, I can imagine that this is a really good tool for a lot of different things if you're, if you're trying to use like lures and whatnot. But for the price, I think it was it's, this particular model is pretty pricey. Um, I think a better fishing drone would be uh, you, could, you can spend $200 uh, for a cheaper, uh, less high-tech version without this without a lot of the smart features I mean this is a major reason for the price is this camera right here it takes very good video uh, that we plan on using in our show um, that's the only reason we got the DJI but you guys can go ahead and get something uh, smaller and, and cheaper and less smart functions pretty much just for beach fishing uh, things you need to watch out for uh, this is not a toy okay you could really really hurt yourself you can really hurt other people, um, and you need to listen to the rules and follow the rules before you fly. Before I flew this, before I took it on the show, I've been flying this for two, three months now um, because I just don't want to put anyone's lives in danger. I need to practice. I need to read up on the rules. Uh, I can't stress to you the importance of doing that. Um, Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue to use this in, in the future. Uh, this has got a lot of potential. I think that we can really use this to our advantage for fishing. Um, so I give it a thumbs up and two stars. Two stars? A thumbs up, two gold stars out of two. Um, gold stars? Yes. Out of two? Yes, and a pair of nice polarized sunglasses rating. Oh. Good. And three lightning bolt. Wow. Perfect. Three lightning bolt. Here at Senko Skipper, we want to inspire people to get out and go fishing and experience the world like we love to experience it. Our job here is to teach as many people how to fish as possible, and we do this with our show. We do this with our website, SenkoSkipper.com. We've got lots of cool stuff on there, lots of products, lots of helpful information. I urge you to check it out if you need any help, SenkoSkipper.com. I'll see you guys next Thursday.